I am going to buy this plane that I call the God plane, and it is gigantic. The God plane? The God plane. And I'll tell you why. Because I have a lot of friends who are billionaires. They're the biggest singers in the world, but you know who else is going to be singing next to them? Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson and Prince and Elvis Presley. A few months ago, I made a video about an architect named Niall Nyami, a guy who built a $500 million mega mansion in the Beverly Hills that would probably be too big for tin families to live in it. It was so unbelievably over the top that literally nobody would buy it, and it's still on the market now. However, before going into hundreds of millions of dollars of debt, Niall Nyami was a hopeful gentleman who had big plans for this house, and in what has got to be the most delusional interview ever conducted, He's gonna tell us about those plans. Now try to keep in mind during this interview that this guy is talking about a house. Some of the things that he seems to believe this house is going to do are genuinely insane thoughts. I honestly thought this interview was a joke the first time I saw it, but it's real. But I'm not gonna waste any more time because nothing I could say could even begin to prepare you to hear what this guy thinks one house was going to do to the world. Let's begin. Please subscribe. We just had the most epic, epic house tour in the history of our channel, I think in the history of anybody's channel. Uh, um, I'm sure you all agree the best house ever. Well, considering that this house has been on the market for nearly six months at this point, and nobody has even made an offer, I'm gonna guess that we are in fact not all in agreement that this is the best house ever. In the last video, I asked you what is the best part about this house? In fact, I think it was Adam even that asked you that question. And you said something like, what we can do with the house. Mm -hmm. What did you mean? Tell everybody. Well, I think that I have something very, very exciting, and I believe that I don't have this by chance. Oh, really? You don't think that you didn't purposefully make a 100,000 square foot home? Yeah, I don't think that anybody thought that this would be by chance. This seems like a pretty purposeful project. Um, when you say change the world in a positive way, how does this house change the world? I, 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 I need I, to explain I, that. I will explain. So, because of COVID, all of the venues around the world have been either shut down or dramatically altered. There is nowhere in the world really where you can go for a venue like you used to have, like a big boxing match or the Academy Awards or the Grammys or anything else that required a large crowd to gather at Staples Center or MGM or Caesars Palace or any of these other places. But we have it now because this house has the ability to hold 900 people in a safe COVID environment. Okay, sorry for the long pause between commentary. That's probably going to be a theme in this video because this guy is a little bit long-winded. But um, yeah, his plan for changing the world is now having an event venue that can hold less than every other event venue. That's pretty much it. That's his plan. All those places he mentioned can hold more people, still meet the guidelines, and be safe. And what is being created for this house is a show that is a show that everyone will want to watch and identify with because it stars me. I live in the house and I live in the house with people that I love and we do crazy things and have crazy parties but we also help the world in so many different ways and one of those ways we're doing it is we are creating gigantic boxing matches right in the grass. Guys, I promise this is a real interview. I really wish it was fake. That is his honest plan for changing the world for the better. Having a TV show where he's the main character and people can watch him and his rich friends party and hosting giant boxing matches. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that because I really don't know how any human could think that those two things would change the world. With the world championship boxers that you could ever imagine and concerts and anything that you could imagine that has a pay-per-view event leading up to the pay-per-view event will be my show. So the, the talent will come through, the weigh-ins will be here, and we will interact with all of the entertainment that lead to the pay-per-view platform. But the pay-per-view platform will be either a Showtime or our own pay-per-view platform that will rain money down. And with that, 
I am going to have a very, very successful show and I'm going to have events. Well, so far this seems more like a plan to make you even more rich, rather than a plan to make the world a better place. I mean, having money rain down and having your own pay-per-view network? I'm not seeing the bigger picture here. Can I put myself down for a front row seat? Yeah, you can. There'll be 35,000 to 40,000 each, but you can. Ouch! Really? 35 to 40,000 dollars? Most of the venues you mentioned don't even charge half of that for a front row seat. Once again, absolute delusion. The, the fight between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao made 700 million dollars on pay-per-view. We have a better event venue space than they were in when that made that kind of pay-per-view money. Well, Niall, I'm really sorry to be the one to break this to you, but uh, most people who are buying pay-per-view don't really care about what event center it's at because they're not there, they're at home. As long as they have it on the TV, they're not gonna care where they're fighting. And I believe doing events in this house through a show that everyone will want to watch. That will fuel the publicity for the pay-per-view, making it even bigger. And when money comes down like that, I'm going to go into the city. And I'm going to go into East LA and Beverly Hills. And I'm going to make people's dreams come true. Because I'm going to see and read people and anyone that's good that has a real idea that they've never had the chance, I'm going to give them a three-page contract and I'm gonna put all of the responsibility on them to report back to me, and that exact day without lawyers, I'm gonna write how much I own of their company, and I'm gonna write them a check and give it to them, and I will only be able to do it with pay-per-view that comes to us, and with that, the whole entire world will change. It's almost kind of disturbing just how out of touch with reality this guy is. Um, Niall, living in Beverly Hills to begin with is a dream in and of itself for the average person. And what, you're gonna walk up to random strangers and offer them a three-page contract and tell them, hey, you just got McDonald's, I'm sure you're ready to start a business? I mean, literally nothing has made sense yet. Investing in rich people's businesses is not changing the world. I, I want you to just think of a couple things like, this house happened just to be here, right in front of the city, and looking right down below is UCLA. UCLA has probably 25,000 parking spaces and all of their above ground garages that they've built that they don't use in the evening. So we will be able to have events here where the neighbors will not even notice. So I did a little bit of looking, and the closest UCLA parking garage to this house is two miles away, or a 40 minute uphill walk. Yeah, you really got the parking situation figured out, didn't you, Niall? And we are planning on helping this neighborhood and giving to the HOA and making everybody a part of this. Yeah, because a neighborhood where a $500 million house only stands out a little bit really screams a neighborhood in need of help. I am the biggest developer in Los Angeles and I have the best houses. I couldn't sell one house. Two years before COVID, I couldn't sell a house. Then COVID came, I couldn't sell a house. Until finally the point, I ran out of money. And I have a chapter 11 on one of the houses I live in. And this house, I was just notified has a notice of default placed against it. Do you know how far gone you have to be to be going bankrupt and have the houses that you build being reclaimed by the bank and look at a camera and say that I'm the best developer in Los Angeles and I make the best houses? Why does nobody want them then, Niall? The investors are going to not only help me solve my issue that I must, but they are going to give the ability to make an unbelievable show, probably the best television show that's ever been and the best events better than they ever were before COVID. This is honestly just kind of getting sad. I mean, this guy is so deluded that he really thinks that this is gonna change the world, that the greatest TV show to ever be made is gonna be one about him partying. I mean, he's so far in the hole that I think he's just trying to oversell everything, but he might actually honestly believe it, and that is scary. We are the world 2022, and I'm gonna have podiums set up throughout this entire house, and we are gonna do a modern day remix of We Are The World, and I am going to have the biggest entertainment entertainers ever in the history singing on each podium. But I'm also going to have people like Chamila Sao, <clears throat> my current wife, 
who it didn't work out, but we're getting a divorce with an unbelievable singer. This is the definition of a downward spiral. Niall, who are you kidding? You cannot afford the biggest entertainment. You just said you have no more money. You realize you pay them, right? They're not gonna pay you to sing on a podium in your house. And then he keeps bringing up his divorce like it's not actually gonna happen? Dude, she's gone. Just like all of your money. You're better off selling the house for materials at this point. You're the biggest singers in the world, but you know who else is gonna be singing next? to them Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson and Prince and Elvis Presley I'm I'm not even going to comment and I am going to get every single singer to come here for free and do it because every penny is going to go to help everybody else that's absolutely amazing. That's truly, truly amazing. I'm convinced that Michael here is being held at gunpoint during this interview. No, it is not a great idea. Generally, singers who are comparable to Michael Jackson or Elvis Presley or Whitney Houston don't really like to sing for free. That's kind of against their job description. And they're really not going to do it for some random guy who promises it will change the world. Oh, and while he profits from it, and they don't. I... I'm going to buy this plane that I call the God Plane, and it is gigantic. The God Plane? God Plane. And I'll tell you why. Because I have a lot of friends who are billionaires. Ah uh, yes, just what we needed to make the world a better place. A private jet for billionaires. Who's ever heard of one of those? So the rest of the video is pretty much just him rambling, essentially begging for investors, making all of these false promises and really showing that he has no understanding of how the economy works. I really don't know how he's this rich, because I don't really think he knows how a business works. Like he says if he can get one boxing match that makes 80 million, his company will be evaluated at a 6.5 billion dollar worth. I mean, are you serious? Why would it be, Niall? It's honestly crazy to see where this guy has ended up, because you would think with him actually being a genuinely self-made man, I mean, he grew up with pretty much nothing, that he would be a little bit more in touch with reality. To have gone from that to this, it's just scary what money can do to you. You start thinking you own the world, and then before you know it, you start to make claims like you can bring back Elvis Presley for a boxing match at a UCLA parking garage. Money. Not even once, kids. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.